Hey guys, what is going on? It's XCKJ here today bringing to you guys a video on Inara. Now, the reason why I'm doing a video on Inara is basically because in the last video, I said that she was a super easy tank to play. Uh, it was an ultimate draft guide that we did. We just pretty much went over how to draft, who to draft, what great teams are. So, I think people wanted to know, okay, so... You paint Inara as a super easy tank to play and a really good comfort pick, but I feel like she's not that easy. So I just wanted to go over kind of how to play her, go over some combos, go over her build. This is going to be Mother's Grace. I see a lot of people playing uh, Treacherous Ground, but Mother's Grace, in my opinion right now, is uh, still her best talent and the easiest one to play for uh, this for if you're going for the just sake of easiness so let's let's go into that we'll look at some combos how to cycle abilities and then uh the build that i play so pretty much geomancer is on five this is practically a must with the build so just reduces the cooldown of earth and guard by 2.5 seconds which procs your mother's grace more stone bulwark for an extra 125 health every one second i see some people not liking this it loses to cauterize but i like it more than uh for instance playing where is the one that people play instead of that they play sacred ground on five the problem i have with sacred ground is you shoot the flower and then you kind of don't have you shoot the flower, you lose it, so it loses to Wrecker pretty hard. So, I like Stone Bulwark. I think it keeps you alive a little bit longer. I think you should try it out before you kind of diss it, you know. Rolling Stone on 1, because 8% uh, CDR is always good. Um, we have Sacred Ground on 1 for the extra 5%, and then Steadfast on 3, because you want to be super, super healthy while you're standing on point. And more health, 450 is a big portion of health, so it's worth investing the 3 points into it. But without further ado, let's jump into some combos and then we'll go into some gameplay. And I have a crazy announcement at the end of this video. Crazy. So make sure to watch until the end. Alright guys, so here we are in the training ground. Let's just talk about the talents quickly. Why we're playing Mother's Grace and not Treacherous Ground or Tremors. So Mother's Grace, pretty much the CC immunity and the 10% uh, 10 percent damage reduction is very, very good. It used to be 15% damage reduction, it's 10% now. I still think it's amazing because it stacks on with the damage reduction you already get. And then the crowd control, I mean, gosh, you're immune to all CC, which is just, I mean, it makes it an amazing talent by itself. Treacherous Ground is really good, but you kind of, it's more for like, I see a lot of point tanks playing it. It's very easy to counter, and then it leaves her super exposed because she's still can get hit by all sorts of stuff so connell and everything like that and you don't want a super beefy tank to just die to crowd control it always feels super super bad and tremors is really good but this is about how to play inara easily and tremors is definitely like i see master players playing it you know i don't see i don't see silver players doing playing it well so tremors is just for once you get very skilled on inara you can play tremors there's really good tremors builds to play i have a couple of those builds on the channel if you're really interested in it but for the sake of this video we're going to be playing mother's grace so let's grab that we will grab the build that i went over and now let's talk about cycling abilities so items that you're going to be buying is cauterize you're going to max out cauterize first and then you can go master riding nimble haven whatever you feel like you need uh, you can buy chronos but you really don't need it so when you're playing like other builds for nar you kind of need it more for this build you can buy it but it's not that great I prefer going like Cauterize, Master Riding, Nimble. Rejuve is not worth buying anymore. So, you got, yeah, you know, your your final build will look something like something. Wait, I can't buy? Okay. Uh, something like, uh, something like that, you know? You'll have something along those lines. All right, let's talk about cycling abilities. So, basically, the two different, co two different phases that you want to be in. Let me move my camera back up. The two different phases. The two different phases that you want to be in is you're you're gonna walk. Let's pretend that this right here is the point, right? You're gonna go out on sub point, hit your right click once you start taking damage. Don't hit it before you start taking damage. Once they look at you, start doing damage. Hit right click, and then you're gonna wall and flower. And now this is your second set of abilities. Then you're gonna play around this, shoot. Now you have a little bit. Bam! You got your mother's grace back up. 
Now you're kind of just going to back off the point while the Mother's Grace is up, and now you're going to wait for your abilities to come back. Once you're out of abilities, you're very, very open to getting killed. So if you don't have your abilities up, don't be staying on point. You want to be hiding behind walls. Now, of course, this is different if your team is snowballing. So if you're in a 3v5 or something, of course, don't back off the point. You know what I'm saying? But if it's still a 5v5 and there's no been no picks, it's a slow game, then basically what you want to do is you're just going to back off the point and then go back out once you have your abilities up again so that's basically what you want to know there as far as other combos you can do i mean sometimes it's nice to kind of boost yourself up and pop an ult this way it gives you that that ability to kind of shoot the ground because when you're on the ground and you pop an ult you don't have that same uh what's it called you don't have the, the same area if that makes sense like so when you ult down here you know you gotta like you, you just can't shoot it as far and still hit the ground because you want to hit the ground to be able to stun people around you but basically that's pretty much everything you can also just pop your flower like behind walls and stuff like sometimes i don't always use the flower and wall at the same time but i think it is really good to use at the same time but you don't have to do that you know but basically that is everything like i said you can buy chronos if you want but you don't need it uh it's kind of expensive to buy too so you gotta remember that but uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So let's uh, jump into the gameplay, and I'm super excited for the announcement at the end of this video. So, peace. Alright guys, so here we are in the gameplay, and now I'm going to be grabbing some cauterize. And do not forget guys, at 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing the one chip challenge. I'm going to be eating the hottest chip on the planet, and then trying to play a casuals game. And also, if by, you know, I'll, 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 I'll say it later, I'll say it later. Uh... Yeah, but I've got, I got a crazy, crazy goals. At the end of the video, I'm going to be giving out a huge announcement, so I'm, I'm excited for it. I just decided I'll say it at the end of the video, not, uh, not now. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. So as we talked about, we're kind of just going to play along with the team, and then we're going to cycle our abilities the best we can. So we're going to come down right here. And then once we start to take, let's put this down, that way you can't really push that well. We aren't really taking damage, so I'm not going to use my Mother's Grace just yet, you know. We'll drop down, see her pushing over there. Push this Cassie a little bit, and we're going for picks. Ooh, let's throw this. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to the point now. And I don't have my right click, so i got to be a little bit careful. Oh, okay, so there we go there. And let's use, ah, we're going to try to shield them off. But now we have our right click up. We'll, we'll let Grover, you can push. You're good. Let the Grover push. We did, we got very lucky on that push right there, to be honest. But now we kind of just stand on the point. Typically, we'd have the healer stand on the point, but it's a Grover, you know. So, he's got to be around the team in order to heal. So, I feel like I can do a good job also soloing a lot of people. Especially with all my abilities being up. My team is beast mode in it right now. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can... Uh, Technically here, we should actually be having this con push. Hey, con, you want to push this point a little bit? You don't have any more shield. Oh, never mind. This guy's coming around the flank. Yeah, con, you probably should let me push. I can probably take more damage than you. Alright, we're, we're just going to get on top of this. So right now, we have no Mother's Grace up, so we're just going to throw up that shield and fall back or not a shield our wall you know what i mean now we have a right click up so we can play a little bit aggro again once we have the right click up we can we can kind of just do whatever we want can't really die throw this on oh we don't take any damage and make stupid plays yo con you gotta push the point this con really should be pushing. He can come back to me. Okay. Throw that right there. I don't wanna. I am not staying inside of that. Yo, 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 yo. Heals. Alright, throw that down for the 5% the damage reduction or whatever the heck. We gotta right click. We just gotta fall back because we're, we're low on abilities. Oh, no. Nice, nice. Yeah, once we have no more abilities up, we have no survivability. So we just gotta remember that. I mean, no, nobody does, but. Especially when you're playing in R, it's very just straightforward, you know? Nice. Okay. 
Let's push this, uh, Tiberia. She's on low ground. And... We have a right click up. So, he literally can't do anything. Kill him. And... Throw down our flower. Boom. Hit him with that emote. So, I think we might get the 4-0. We'll max out on Cauterize. Just, just so the bear sphere heals don't really work that well. One. Uh... Slash name. Dang. He uh, DM'd me. Yeah, man. Uh, two games we played. We did pretty uh, pretty good together. Sounds good, dude. All right, so we're gonna do the exact same thing that we just did before because it went really, really well. We're just gonna go up the right side. We have our ult this time too. We're gonna pop the Mother's Grace right away. Pop the ult. Not there yet. Boom. Yes, what a combo, dude. Nice. Good job. Destroy that turret. Uh barracks on the back line. I'm gonna get all on the point. Just destroy this shield. And we have a right click up, so I'm not really scared about dying. No point to use it now. I like to use my right click when, you know, we're about to take a lot of damage, not just a couple pokes. Sometimes I waste it, but it really is just stay alive for free button, you know? Alright, you should just stay on this, which I don't mind standing on it. I only mind when we push, to be honest. I don't mind standing on it right now. But when we're pushing the point, the con should definitely push it. While, uh, I just stand it. Just throw up the wall right there. Block the line of sight for that Furia. Yeah, look at she had to come all the way around. She's gonna get abused for that. No way. I just choked all my shots. Hit that right click. Nice, she got killed. We don't have any more abilities. Nice, nice, nice. Yo, Khan, you have to push. Dude, Khan, you can't take that much damage. You're gonna die. The last time you push, we our whole team died. Con. Hey, big daddy. What'd I say, dude? I, I mean, I told him what was gonna happen. Yeah, I, oh, I didn't want to get hooked, and sure enough, he ends up hooking the, uh... Ah, uh, I did not mean to put that wall there. Throw it on the flower. Wait, what? Oh, did I cancel the flower? Whoops. Eh. Yeah, let's uh, let's fall back a little bit. Let's see if we can get some poke damage right here. Khan can go high ground, maybe. Yo, Khan, maybe go high ground. Screw that up. I meant to go on top of the wall, but then I didn't realize it was standing that close to, uh... Oh. Oh. Look at that. Alright, nice, nice. We got two guys going high ground. Eh, no one that just push into that. Alright, we're gonna push now. Wasted that flower. We're just in here. And eh, we'll contest it, so it doesn't roll. Oh, this is free. Double kill right in that room. Double kill right here, boys. Haha. <laughs> you got healed. But guess what? Cauterize 3 for the win. Oh no. How did I not even notice that? So here we have a couple options of items that we can buy. We can go Kronos to get our abilities more, Morale Boost to get our ult more, Master Riding might be really good. I think I think we're going to go Master Riding here, because we can get on uh, on that top quicker. We need to get high ground, especially since we don't have our ult. Capture point spawning in That's okay, honestly, I think we should still go right, because we just want to take the high ground, right? If they give us the high ground for free, we might as well just take it. Five, four, three, 
Two, right, so one. we're gonna go right here. Yeah, definitely. Master Ro yeah, yeah, they just gave it to us. All right, I'm gonna go down to the point and then you guys can just hold high ground. All right, gotta back off there. I had to give him the point. I can't play into that ult. Nice, dude. All right, uh, want me to cap? All right, now we just cap. Um, I think we we just win off of that. As you see, you know, you don't want to go run straight to the point. If you do run straight to the point, you know, it's fine. But this is a super easy way. This is why I just feel like an arch is the easiest tank to play. You know, uh, kind of just sit here, cycle through your abilities, and then you're fine. Even if even if the team wasn't playing well there, like you just cycle through your abilities, and it's pretty straightforward how you uh, how you want to play it. But anyway, so guys, let's check our let's check our stats really quick, and then I think uh, the man wants to play a game with me. But 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 six zero nineteen forty five thousand damage. Look, we literally had so much damage, good amount of shields. Uh, but anyway, so guys, if by this is this is nuts. This could not. I'm setting it to be impossible because I I do not want it to happen. If we are able. To hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Ready for this, boys? I will get a Paladin's tattoo. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure where. But if we hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I will do that. I promise right here. And I will start saying it in all the videos. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and sub to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.